Hello, my name is Amir and I am an assistant professor at the Department of Robotics and Mechatronics Engineering at Kansas State University. In this presentation, I would like to talk about soft parallel robots, which are a new paradigm in the robotic research. So, field of soft robotics is an emerging field of research within the robotic research and it is essentially based on application of soft and compliant material in the structure of robots. For instance, in this figure, you can see a soft inflatable robot arm, which is holding a delicate flower without damaging it. Soft robotics in nature is a multidisciplinary area of research, which requires different fields of engineering from mechanical to biomedical, electrical, chemical, material. And if you are using these soft robots for biomedical application, obviously we need medical sciences as well. But what is the main vision for soft robotic systems? There is a very good video uh, by Dr. Majidi as a TED talk that talk about the uh, vision of soft robotic system, but I try to summarize that with you here in this one slide. And that is it. Essentially, rigid robotic system are mainly used in factories for different manufacturing process, such as welding. And this uh, rigid robotic system, usually they have their own safety zone or workspace and they do not have any interaction with humans. And that is mainly because of the safety reason. However, there is an increasing demand for robotic system to be used at the hospitals or in your houses where they're coming in close contact with human and essentially interact with human. Now, in this scenario, the issue of safety is very important because just imagine if a rigid robotic arm based on an accident hit you, it can cause severe damages. What's the solution? The solution essentially is soft robotics, where we are replacing this rigid structure with soft materials. Essentially, if I want to say in a different word, there is an impedance mismatch between the rigid robot and human body tissue. Like the elastic modulus of rigid robots is in the range of gigapascal versus the human tissue is in the range of kilopascals. In these two uh, pictures, we have two examples of soft robotic system. For instance, this one is a glow which can be used for uh, hand rehabilitation for the patient with a stroke. Essentially, is a inflatable soft uh, robotic system that help the patient with rehabilitation. And this one is an, another example of soft robotic system where uh, we have a soft gripper that can be used for picking fruits. Well, as the science of soft robotics makes progress along the way, we need novel sensors and actuators. These novel actuators can operate based on pneumatic, electrical, chemical, optical, and different other mechanism. Now, in the course uh, of soft robotics that I'm teaching this semester, we are going to go over some of these actuation mechanism, in particular pneumatic one, and also some of the chemical one, which are the electroactive polymers and IPMC, ionic polymer metal composites. And uh, we also will consider uh, some of the novel soft sensors that may be working using uh, liquid metal, which is also uh, called as gallium. 
and uh, we also need to develop some novel modeling framework the existing uh, literature in the robotics in area of kinematic modeling and dynamic modeling cannot directly be used for a soft robotic system so we need to develop that framework as well also uh, advanced control techniques would be necessary for uh, this software like system and novel design ideas. So these are uh, some of the topics that uh, I would like to cover uh, during this uh, soft robotic course. But getting back to the main, uh, with this background being said, let's get back to the main uh, topic of this uh, short video, which is about the uh, soft parallel robots. So what is the motivation for a parallel structure? Well, parallel structure or parallel robots already exist. We have rigid parallel robots and uh, some of the reason or advantages or motivation for such system are they increase the payload. They increase the position, repeatability and accuracy. So for those reasons, we are using parallel structure. Essentially, whenever we have a closed kinematic chain, we have a parallel robot. Now, with those advantages of having a parallel structure, I decided to translate this structure to their equivalent soft robotic system, and I call them soft parallel robots. For instance, this one is a two degree of freedom soft parallel robot, is a planar one that can uh, move in X and Y direction. And I developed this system in 2015 uh, using electroactive polymer actuators. So electroactive polymer actuators are essentially polymeric material where when we apply uh, electrical voltage, they start to deform. They can bend, rotate, and so on. And I will go over uh, uh, fabrication, design, modeling, and control of electroactive polymers in a different presentation. But this is just one example. And then uh, after proposing a two degree of freedom, then I come up with the idea for a three degrees of freedom and six degrees of freedom and a lot of other research ideas are, are we are still developing and I would like to share it with you guys later down the road. But uh, in this video, I would like to uh, I would like to show uh, example of uh, that two degree of freedom, uh, which is based on electric Now in this video, uh, we see the three degree of freedom, X, Y, and Z, soft, uh, we, we call it soft delta robot. By the way, uh, 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 this, this research work uh, has been done in uh, collaboration with uh, Dr. Ice Tekesh. Uh, uh, she's my collaborator here at Kansas State University. This next video uh, uh, is uh, about uh, six degrees of freedom, soft parallel robot. I had uh, this idea of a uh, soft uh, S2R mechanism. And uh, you can see that this uh, robotic system can move in uh, X, Y, and Z, and also it can have three rotation, roll, speech, uh, and yaw rotation. So it would have a wider range of uh, applications. Now, uh, 
to wrap it up this presentation, I would like to uh, highlight uh, some of my research areas, robotics, uh, with a special emphasis on soft robotic systems, medical device development, dynamic systems and control, robust control, mechanical vibration, and smart material. And uh, these are some of the images of uh, part of my research work, for instance. This is a cross-section of electroactive polymers. These are uh, some novel manufacturing method for uh, soft, uh, ultra thin soft uh, uh, actuators. And uh, this is an example of a medical device development where we uh, develop the synthetic uh, uh, heart valve using uh, soft robotic technology. And uh, these are uh, some of my works on kinematic modeling of uh, soft robotic systems. And uh, Hopefully uh, soon I would upload uh, more videos talking about these researches and the future directions of my work and uh, more will come up shortly. Anyway, thank you so much for your time and I hope to uh, see you guys soon.